Hello, my name is Dean Alhoss and today I will be teaching you how to construct a sales day book and then enter the relevant transactions in the T accounts using the double entry system. All businesses will have everyday transactions that they need to record in a book of original entry. There are actually seven books of original entry and today we're going to go through the sales day book. When you sell goods on credit to your customers, they become debtors, which means that they're going to pay you at a later date. But how do you know how much those debtors actually owe you? Well, the answer to that is that a bookkeeper will record those sales in a sales day book. Once the sales day book at the end of the month is added up, a list of all the debtors will then be put into the various T accounts, which can be found in your sales ledger and your general ledger. In your sales ledger, you will have all the T accounts of your debtors, and in the general ledger, you will have the T accounts of sales. From our last tutorial, you'll remember that the seller will need to send an invoice, a bill, for the amount owing to the buyer. That basically is a demand saying that you have now received these goods and I would be expecting the following payment. So if we look at the invoice here, we can see that the invoice sent to the customer is for $1,008. In other words, for the 21 boxes of cherries, the five boxes of apples and the six boxes of tomatoes, I am expecting you to pay me $1,008 within the 90 days. The bookkeeper, who is the junior accountant, will need to record this information because the buyer, in this case Villa Market Limited, will obviously need to be chased for that money. So where do we record this information? Well, we put it into our sales day book. The sales day book is a record of all the debtors that you have sold stock to on credit. Remember, the sales day book is only for the debtors of inventory or stock. We can see here also that the sales day book gives us additional information in terms of the total amount of debtors that the company has sold goods to on credit. So if we look at this particular example, we can see on the 10th of June we sold 1,008, as we already discussed. We then sold another 1,192 on the 27th of June to D Pool. When you add up the total debtors for the month that you're going to transfer to your T account, you can see that 1,008 plus 1,192 gives you a total debtors of $2,200. The double entry for a sale on credit is credit the sales because the stock or the inventory is going to go out of your business on the credit side and debit the debtor, in this case Villa Market and the second debtor D Pool on the debit side because the stock or the inventory is going to come into their T account. So in the sales ledger we put all our debtors of stock accounts and in the general ledger we will have our sales account. Now to save us time the bookkeeper will put the total sales for the month which was at the bottom of your sales day book of original entry uh, on the credit side as 2200. So in other words rather than doing two transactions because you've already recorded those two in the sales day book you just take the total and put it on the credit side. And then the debit entries to Villa Market for the amount that they owe, which was 1,008, and the debit entry for D Pool, which was $1,192, will go on the inside or the debit side of the debtor T accounts. Thanks for listening. If you found this tutorial useful, then please do wait around for the next video to load up on the playlist. And remember, if you do find these videos useful, then hit the like button.